I, I wanted to show you guys another find I got at that. Uh, I paid two dollars for this blanket, single stitch. Then we did get some vintage heat here. We got this is X's house. What is up, my family? We are back at the Goodwill. Me and my baby girl Isabel. You want to say hi to the fam? Hi. Uh, hopefully, we can find some good stuff in here. Car coming. Car coming. Hurry up. Let's go in this store and make some money, baby. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this Dora little figure. It's going for about uh, 40 brand new. I'm gonna think I'm gonna sell mine for about 30 um, because of the box damage and all that. And I'm paying $7.99 for that one. And this Makita radio, I'm paying $5.99. I should be able to get about 40 to 50 dollars. Haven't really, I can't really test it out because it, it doesn't have a battery. So I'm gonna sell it for parts and then everything else I'm gonna put back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these Brooks for $10.99. Um, I should be able to get at least 30 plus shipping for these. All right, so I was thinking about picking up this uh, Seth Thomas clock. But I think I'm gonna leave it behind because I really do not have luck with these clocks. Um, I have one and I haven't sold it, so I'm just gonna put this back. I am gonna go ahead and pick up this um, Fiesta Dora from 2006. I should be able to get at least 30. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this bag of toys here. They got Minecraft, Roblox, Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know who, who gave this up, but I'm gonna give it to my girls because they love all that type of stuff. So. It's uh, they're charging $8.99 and there's some decent ones. They got Steve, little baby Steve in a cart. I don't know that. I don't know what that is. You're right. I love that. But they got a big, a big zombie Steve, it looks like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick this up for sure. I just want to uh, show this find. I think this is going to be good. I haven't looked it up. I'm going to just pick it up because it's a... Uh, it's an Independence Day soundtrack. Oh no, this is Independence Day laser disc. And this is the first time I ever found a laser disc and brand new at that. Pretty cool find there, buddy. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be decent. All right, so unfortunately that, that uh, laser disc ain't worth a ton of money. It's probably gonna be about 30 bucks. I thought it was going to be more than that because it was Independence Day and that was a long time ago and it was brand new. But I guess I was wrong. Tomorrow I'm planning on coming back out uh, to the Goodwill. I think I'm going to hit up a couple different other thrift stores. So I'll see you then. It's Thursday morning. Um, I decided to go to Found and Cherish first. I might end up going to Goodwill today, but I'm not sure. It depends on what I find in here. Hopefully it's something good. I'm with my baby girl, Isabel. She's over there in the cut looking at y'all guys <laughs> but uh let's go in this store and try to make some money baby all right so far I've been, I've been able to find a couple things here so i got this greg norman with the mickey mouse embroidered right there going for about 20 i'm paying 3.99 for that one this polo with the big polo horse right there um extra large going for, paying 3.99 as well uh, should be able to get 15 with the big uh embroidered three right there about 15 or 20 plus uh 15 plus shipping and i'm thinking about this one man with this all over print like hawaiian shirt i like it i think it's worth getting um i should be able to get at least 20 plus shipping so a decent find all right, so I did find a few t-shirts and I'm paying $2.99 a piece for them. And it's going to be this Memphis Mayfire 2007 shirt. It's a, on a tool text tag. Um, I think it's a band or something. <laughs> but I'm not 100% sure. I should be able to get at least $10 for that one. Um, this printed in USA uh, um, rock and roll American t-shirt with the American flag. Uh, tag should be able to get about 10 to 15. This uh, how Kaleo on the 
hep for the loom heavy tag with the back piece back hit there should be able to get about 10 for that one and this coco beach surf it's on an all style tag the sick graphic is just the right season for this right now so i'm gonna go ahead and pick that up should be able to get 10 15 as well on this one I, I wanted to show you guys another find I got at that. Uh, I paid two dollars for this blanket. Um, it's going for about twenty-five dollars. It's from 1996. Yu-Gi-Oh. I used to be a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, man. It was good to find this. Pretty, pretty sick. Uh, so I should be able to get about twenty-five, and I'm, I am going to go to Goodwill. All right, we are back at my favorite store goodwill <laughs> i'm about to go in here and try to uh, see if we can find something right, i'm gonna go ahead and pick up these three items and then i'm i gotta go so this bag of barbie uh stuff i figured since i'm having such good luck with uh, barbie i'll pay the 8.99 and see if i if i hit i, I figured with these two um barbie dolls here with the different color hair and also these little figures I believe I should I should be able to get at least 20 to 30 dollars for this bag um, when I when I go to resell it and then I got this uh, Avon um, wild country after after shave it's in the in this so it's in this uh, bottle right here pretty cool actually it's just the bottle <laughs> So I don't know if I'm going to pick this up because it's just a bottle. All right, and then the last thing I'm going to pick up is this Pioneer SX203 uh, receiver. No course to actually test it, but they did start a new policy where um, they're letting you test it at the house and then bring back as long as you, it's like 72 hours. But I'm out of here. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find much, but I didn't have enough time. I had, like I mentioned before, I have places to go, places to be. Uh, so I'm going to do, um, I'm going to head home now. But tomorrow, I'm planning on going back out. So I'll see you then. First sale of the day, Friday morning. Mini estate sale. Let's see what we can find. Three bucks for shoes. <laughs> Smells kind of funny in here. Thanks so much. <laughs> There's another one right there. Oh my goodness. Deer, deer heads. Ooh, they got some monster high stuff. I see them. Five dollars. Deer head. Frankenstein. Hold that. Deer head. Claudine, hold that. And Frankenstein. A deer picture. Yeah. Hold that. Come over here. Alright, we made it to Goodwill once again. You already know what it is. Uh, we're about to go in this store and try to make some money, baby. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Buccaneers hat. Look at that. The Miller Lite with the Buccaneer with the Pirate. Let's go. Take that all day. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this Derma Shine uh, for $9.99. Uh, it's like a mask. It looks like it's brand new in there. It's brand uh, used to go for about $50. So I'm, it's safe to say I'm, I'm going to make some money there. Also picked up this weird thing. Don't know what it is. Any, anybody, anybody in the in the comments, let me know what this is. 
don't know, but it's $12.99. I'm gonna pick it up. It feels heavy duty, so figured I'll pick it up. It looks like a tool. And I smashed my finger. Look, I'm bleeding still. And I'm gonna it pick it. You didn't see it? It did. Then I got this uh, Moana uh, axe and a little drum set. And this little chest for $5. That should give me more, like 15 20 and then these uh, Crayola, yeah, these Crayola Adidas. It's kids' shoes, but that's dope. Pretty sure it's worth a little bit of money. I'm paying $11 for those. And I'm also going to pick up these confetti cannons. My baby girl, Carolina, is, uh, is graduating kindergarten today. So I'm going to pop these off. So far, that's all we found. All right, so I found a few shirts and, and stuff. So I got this Fantasia for $3.99, all over print with the Disney, with the Mickey Mouse Fantasia. We got uh, Seth freaking Rollins, uh, w, authentic WWE uh, merchandise for the $6. Um, should be able to get about 20 for that one. I'm not sure about this one. Uh, it's a champion jersey, 48. I don't know who that is right there. Brome number 11. I think I'm going to pick it up for $7. Got the Guy Harvey with the big, with the big, uh, what is these called? Um, dolphin fish for $3.99. Then I was going to get these, both of these, uh, Tommy Hilfiger. They're kind of pricey for $6. Um, but I was thinking about putting them, bundling them up together. So I'll be paying $12 or yeah, $12. So I would have to charge about 30. I don't know if I got that margin. I think I'm gonna put these back. I am, put it right there. All right. And the real, the find of the day so, so far is this all sports events, single stitch Florida Gators, baby. This is a extra large size 48. Just one sided, but it's a tie dye. So nice find there for sure. We headed out of here now. On to the next one. All right, so I found a few things. We are at a an estate sale next to the Goodwill. So I found this hat, Star Wars hat with the little stormtroopers. I thought it was funny and I like it. So I'm gonna pick it up. Probably be able to sell it for about 10. Then we did get some vintage heat here. We got Neil Diamond with love, made in USA. Not single stitch, but still definitely vintage. Another vintage Garth Brooks. It's a on tour. It's a tour t-shirt made in USA, beefy tee. And this one is single stitch. I'm not a Trump, Trump supporter or nothing, but I know this will sell. Deplorable me, Trump, 2016, never Hillary. Little minion Trump. And then the last vintage, it's another Neil Diamond. Not single stitch on the Murano, Muran, Murani, Marina, Marina <laughs> tag made in USA. War tour, 1998 through 1999. So definitely vintage. Good finds here. The stuff I like to find, man. More oh, clothes items. So this uh, Guy Harvey Originals um, with, I'm not sure what kind of fish that is, but we we'll picked that up. Got a Real Legends Mahi. I wanna say, oh yeah, that's the Mahi Mahi fish, I guess. And then this, um, Comfort Knit, Made in USA, little sweater vest, vintage sweater vest, munting wear, Made in Korea, little sweater here. And then we have the Izod Lacoste, Made in USA, little sweater, a cardigan. And then we also have this Froggies Saloon in Daytona. Never been there, but Look at that frog. <laughs> it is on an anvil tag made in USA, so 
vintage as well. Decent clothes pickups today for sure. Did you end up sending a little soccer field? Nope. Would you take 40 by any chance? It's not my, you wanna ask Debbie? She'll take 40? Yeah. That's good. Okay. 40 for the... Oh, I thought she said 60. Yeah. No, I said, yeah, he uh, said 40. 40. I said 40. Oh, 40, whatever. Okay. 40, yeah. Awesome. 40. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we, my kids are definitely going to have fun with it. All right, so if you don't know already, I love finding vintage t-shirts. And it was great to find um, those Neil Diamond as well as the Garth Brook t-shirts. There was so much uh, good clothes in that stay sale between the Lacoste, uh, the Izod Lacoste and uh, the other t-shirts. I should be able to get about $200 in profit uh, from that estate sale. And I, I'm happy for that, especially since I, I went ahead and picked up that soccer field. I could probably sell that soccer field for about $200, um, but I am going to keep that soccer field for myself. My kids, are, we already uh, <laughs> been playing on that thing and it's kind of fun. I, I, I thought about the idea of going ahead and playing dodgeball on there. So that's, that's in the near future. But I, I also wanted to show you guys uh, how the sales are going. They uh, unfortunately dropped again last week. Last week, I, be, I believe I was at like 1700 uh, This week, it's, it, it went down to almost 1200 which is unfortunate. But it seems to be that the summertime is when the sell, slow sales start. I, la I started last year uh, around the summertime, so I really wasn't selling that much at the time. So I didn't experience this. <laughs> uh, but from what I am researching, this is normal for eBay um, around the summertime. There's not a lot of people buying stuff. There's a lot. Most people are, are trying to do stuff around the summertime. And I understand. So you just got to roll with the punches. Did want to show you how the sales are going. And they are actually going better than the ones before because it's only about a week in maybe a week and a half and it it's about to surpass uh the last uh last sale i did so the the big sale i did was clothing and shoes for 25 percent. so i got 507 dollars in sales on that sale and the last sale i ran for 30 percent, i got 537 sales so i still have like uh a few days a few days of this sale to run. Um, I think it ends next Monday or Tuesday. But the other sale that I'm running for 10%, I'm about, about just just about everything else. Uh, I've gotten uh, $286 in in sales from that markdown sale. It is normal for your sales to drop in in the summertime. I watch uh, Osborne of Thrift, and in, in one of his latest videos, he mentioned that um, a lot of people still have fourth quarter prices on their items, and it just clicked for me because um, I'm running this 30% sale, and it's probably dropping it to about the prices that you would get um, in in the second to third quarter um, because fourth quarter sales, it's in Christmas time and everybody's buying stuff. So if you're not running sales, you got to really go through uh, your items and make sure that you are pricing your stuff correctly. Because like I said, that I believe this is why these markdown sales are working for me. And if you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching all the way through. Uh, it's gonna, uh, that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, if you enjoy what you're watching, be, please consider subscribing and uh, hitting that like button. And until next time, this is your boy X. Make sure to stay on your grind and make that money, baby.